Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamer's Thoughts discussion. And hmm, I didn't even think about this before. <laughs> but I made that discussion talking about an Xbox Series Portable. And that it should be somewhere in the $600 range. And then Valve announces the Steam Deck that out of was it has a, a five hundred well it has different pricing variants. You got your four hundred dollar entry, then the one with two hundred fifty six gigabytes of SSD storage is was it five twenty nine and then the one with the biggest amount of storage to it, I think, is like, it's about 600 So, I was just thinking about that. I said that jokingly, not thinking over the fact that, hey, someone was actually going to do it. I didn't think anyone would actually do it, and then Valve goes and does it. So <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't even look <laughs> Valve's direction because I, I like if thinking about Valve's history with their different products that they put out to try to spread Steam to more people outside of just the normal PC market, they haven't really supported those platforms long term. So I didn't even think about Steam when it came down to that, and I was like. I should have. Once that announcement came, I was like, man, I should have actually thought about Valve doing this. I had only looked toward Xbox because, again, that's one of the main three everybody talks about. And PC is an amalgamation of different platforms, technically. It's multi-purpose. So I'm sitting here like, man... That would have made a lot of sense if I had said that. <laughs> Funny thing is, one of my—I know one of my comments said that the price would be that the six hundred dollar price is steep, and I remember saying that that's the co- something along the lines of that that cost being a consider being uh, considering. Some, uh, I don't even remember my wording, but I know my response was that that it would be worth the cost apparently to some people. So. I'm kind of curious as to how many people are going to buy the Steam Deck that has 520 gigs of SSD storage. I'm kind of curious. I know that there are lower tier options. And people can purchase SDXC cards to go with their, uh, their systems. Because I know the base model has 60 bore, 64. Mm, I said 60 bore, 64 gigs of I think eMMC storage on there, which is basically just flash. And then the next model up is 256 gigs, and that one's what five five twenty nine, five twenty nine. I think I said the right the price wrong the first time I talked about it so I'm like huh. Valve actually went and did what I was thinking Microsoft should do because th- when you think about it considering that people are probably going to be purchasing this and then they're going to wipe Steam OS off of it and just download Windows 10 <laughs> or possibly 11 um, and just put that on there and run their games with that because then you can put all your other platforms on it. 